Hey, I'll tell you what, everybody, what an awesome, beautiful day it is. Heading up to the Wisconsin River. Now, we have not done a show up on the Wisconsin River in a couple of years. Obviously, we're gonna be looking at post-spawn walleyes, and we're gonna go over some techniques that are very basic, simple techniques that sometimes I think people, even myself, kind of forget about. So hold on to your heinies. Where the breathing is easy, the living is good Out in the great outdoors Larry Smith Outdoors is brought to you by Warrior Boats Evan Rude Vortex Mike's Country Meats Bart Line Barrels Leroy Meats Bait rigs, tubble towels, easy loader trailers, and heavy shot. So remember like I always say, it's a great day to be alive. Oh, where's my net? Where's my net, man? Oh, read him and weep, baby. Yes, thank you, sir. I had a bite right before that, and that is awesome. You know the great part, too, about the Wisconsin River is it's got a 15-inch size limit. And years ago, when I first started fishing up here, you know, probably over 30 years ago, these fish really tasted like sulfur. They were not good eating at all. But that's all changed. It's clean. The river's clean. Uh, the fish are absolutely delicious. All I was doing is dragging that slowpoke and uh, just uh, I got a fat head on there. Pretty simple technique on there and uh, letting them load up on it. I'm going to bump this fish up. It's going to be really close. But again, 15 inch size limit, 15 to 20 or one over 28. You know, the, the big thing is when you're fishing any body of water that has a size limit on it, don't use a ruler, use a bump board. So that's the easiest way to get the most accurate. I got it right there, Arts, thank you. And look at that fish right there, 16 and a quarter. I do believe I am on the board, boys. Nice job. Yeah, I wonder if there's a net guy in the boat for you. I probably not. Oh, oh I don't know. Looks like a good one. On the gold. Slow poke. Minimum. Yeah, we're just a little short. Okay, let her go. It's like a decent fish. You know, that's kind of nice. You gonna flip them? Oh, nice. Yep. You know, we eat fishy, we just eat more. What we're looking for here is obviously we're using our side imaging and uh, just basically looking for fish. And up here, there's kind of a current break and that's where we caught the last uh, three fish just kind of drifting through. But what we did do, uh, I should say actually, what we should have done is we're moving way too fast. So I'm gonna throw out our drift sock and slow us down, and that should make a big difference. Nice job. We just put that drift sock out too, and again, that's slowing that boat down is so crucial, especially when we have all this wind today. Hopefully that dies down a little bit, but getting the, the proper speed is definitely the key. You wanna be moving the same speed as the current. It's a little small, a little small. You think uh, there's enough there for Ruben to have one? I'm definitely hitting the spot. Here, Ruben. Since he's tying your lines all the time. There you go, buddy. I'm going to wash my hands first. That's a good idea. I got double doubles right there. Hey, Ruben, let's talk a little bit. Let's, what's new at, over at Vortex? I know you guys are always coming up with new and innovative products. So let's talk a little bit about that. 
Yeah, it, it's been a busy spring for us. Um, we've, we've released a few new products. You know, right now, I mean, we're going into turkey season. We're kind of right in the middle of it. And so uh, in the spring for us, a lot of people we see getting um, geared up for turkey season and, and more people are going to running like a red dot on their turkey gun. There's always going to be somebody to talk to. Uh, if you call in, you're going to talk to a real person. Um, good chance you're going to talk to somebody that's interested in doing whatever it is that you're doing too. So uh, I know a lot of the guys in the in the tech line are, are into turkey hunting. They're into you know competitive shooting. They're into long range shooting, stuff like that. So if you do have a question, that's you know one thing that we really um, we're always going to try and have a real person to talk to. Right. And, uh, Customer service is yeah. huge at Vortex. Yeah, with optics, the the choices can be kind of uh, kind of a little bit daunting, right? There's there's a ton of options, um, but I think if you can tell us your application and, and kind of what you want to use it for, we're always going to be able to make a recommendation, whether it's our product or somebody else's. Ruben, you definitely have got the hot hand all of a sudden. Well, I put on that heavier jig. Yeah, I'm not feeling bottom. And it's helping me get down. And I think in the wind and the current, you know, it's just, it's every little bit helps. Certainly does. That looks like a decent fish. Uh, it's a little shorter. Same length. It'll look good, though. Built for fishermen, built by fishermen. Um, really, that says it all. It's the family here. It's, it's not a big, big conglomerate. It's a family. They treat you. You feel like you're in a family, you know. When you put those two together, an amazing product and amazing people, it's just the type of company you want to be involved with. Not only because of just the great boats, but because of the camaraderie that the Warrior family has. The customer service is amazing. Uh, they never leave you hanging. So come join the Warrior family. That might be a little better fish, too. Definitely that putting that drift sock out helped us. That might be a keeper, my friend. Ho, ho, ho. Fling him right up. Fling him in. That's definitely a good fish. Attaway, Archer. Nice job. That's a fatty, my friend. I don't know if he's going to be long enough, but he's definitely thick. On that live scope, oh, there's a nice fish too. That is absolutely awesome. You know what's really cool, you guys, is that I've got my Pan Optics live scope up front here. I got my new bracket here from Bruce City Trolling Motors, and I've got my live scope. It makes it so convenient now to use my live scope up front here, and I can show you guys later how this bracket goes up and down. But I've got a ringworm, and I've got it with that LS series slow poke. And we're almost out of bait. That's the reason I went to this. I'm letting these guys use up rest of the minnows. But very interesting how you can watch them fish come right up to the bait. I was watching it and I held that, that plastic still and he just absolutely smoked it. Nice walleye too, about 15 and a half, 16 inch. I'm gonna measure them right now. But I love that, you know, it reminds me of in the winter when I'm using my Vexlar. That's what I think is so cool. You can see right here is my plastics. There's the bottom, of course and you can just see them fish come right up to that, which is cool. Again, it reminds me of my Vexlar in the winter. It's kind of addicting watching that. Woo-hoo, I'm loving it. You know what? Unbelievable. Switching over the plastics and they're just absolutely whaling it. And again, I'm watching it on my live scope here. This new bracket by, I'll tell you what, this new bracket that we have here by Bruce City Trolling Motors, I'll tell you, Tim and the boys, they did an unbelievable job. I'm loving this. Give this guy a measurement. Let's see if he's a keeper. <laughs> 